Okay, D-Day at 500 hours in St. Marigliese. The Germans are going to counterattack. Okay, here come the mortars. Get off the streets. Okay, okay, Captain Foley. Uh, we have an assortment of guns here, but we already have more or less what we want. Maybe we should use the Grand for a little while, because we didn't really when the game started. So we'll roll with the Grand. Private Johnson, where are you going? He's dead. They got him. Well, yeah, you sent him by himself out there. What did, uh, what did you expect to happen? You sent one man over there blind to, to check out what's going on. I can see your gun, but I can't see you. Behind you. Uh, get a Panzerfaust from the church and take that mother out. Sure, I'll just run through the hordes of enemies to the church and uh, grab a Panzerfaust. Hello, Panzerfaust. Anything else in here? Just some health stuff. So we need to go back and uh, apparently the Germans are there. I'm not sure why my AI didn't hold the uh, didn't hold the area, but okay. So we'll, we'll clear on our way back to hopefully avoid getting murdered again. Still, oh, and you're literally behind me as well. What are you even? What are you even doing, teammates? If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna protect, okay, it doesn't matter. So not safe to go outside at all. So we'll stay in here, I guess, until uh, we've cleared out the enemy. Oh, sorry, teammate. Shouldn't have been that close to the Germans, I guess, huh? We'll just use the machine gun here. You're behind me as well. Oh, it was a grenade. So I'll grab this health here, because we're in a pretty not great spot. Oh, you're out here as well. The Germans really are everywhere. I wish uh, my AI was a little bit doing a little bit more work here. Okay, looks like it actually might be safe. Nope. Germans popping over the wall down there. There's that classic uh, grand ping. Let's move up and take a shot at this tank if we're safe enough to do so. Okay. Back to the church with you, sure. Hopefully we can get there without dying again. We'll grab a backup Panzer. Just in case, uh, Panzer Faust, just in case there are more. Okay, shoot a fish in a barrel here, except I can't hit any of my shots. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna get on the mounted machine gun, seems like a great way to get myself killed. Uh, being locked in a single position like that, so. We'll just uh, try to clink off the ones that we can here. Missing a lot of my shots. Can't reload. Tried to reload again. The Garand can't do that. Which is a, a bummer. Looks like they are actively retreating at this point. Pulling back. Good work, but don't let down. They'll be back. I want to reload, so let's pop off all our shots. Everyone follow you. Sure. Any more health packs? Yes. Keep our Panzer at the ready, and we'll roll with the the Grand for a little while longer, following our team here. What am I doing? Reinforce the northern approach. Sure. Just head in this direction. I can kind of see the enemy, but not really. I guess we're supposed to go over here with them, where our uh, compass thing is indicating. That is not an enemy. Those might be. Let's uh, see if we can move over to get a better line on them here. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I like... I was trying to think of which rifle I like the best from World War II. You know, I think World War II is like... 
people are obsessed with World War II, and I, I think it makes sense. It was really the last, quote unquote, great war. It was the last war where there were just boots on the ground, just millions of people fighting and, and all this stuff. And it's like, it's really easy to understand why that gets romanticized and why people kind of reflect on that as being a really big moment in human history. And then you add to that all of the like war crimes, all of the, you know, the ideologies behind it, that sensation that like you weren't just fighting to win, you were fighting to preserve your entire nation's way of life. And I think that it's... See, you died because you walked in front of my bullet. See, now I murdered an American citizen because they could not be bothered to have better AI. So, congratulations, I murdered someone. You are an enemy. I don't know why my teammates are all walking past you instead of fighting you, but okay. Same, same question here. Not sure why they were just walking by. So what now? What am I doing? Locate and eliminate the enemy mortar positions. Okay, so I guess I don't... Do I need more panzers, do you think? Oh, there's a tank right there. Oh, they're blowing it up. Okay. A little scripted moment there. Let's back up so we don't explode. Ah, you did it. Good job, man. Um, you know, and it's like the last great war mobilization of entire nations, including women and sometimes children. The just sheer feeling like if we don't win, our entire culture is going to be destroyed. Our entire way of life will be destroyed. It's certainly something that I understand why it gets romanticized. I understand why it was you know, 90% of what was on the History Channel for years and years and years. Um, it's definitely, it's fascinating, you know. I don't know. World War II, it's just one of those things that's like... And, and everyone, and the scope, obviously, of World War II was enormous. Um, you know, most countries participated in some capacity in World War II. Even if you... Like, obviously, people think of, like, all oh, the Axis and the Allies. It was a lot more than that. Like, even a uh, country that was traditionally not involved in the war, like, I don't know, right, Spain? Spain wasn't really involved in World War II. My God, these machine guns are loud. Um, but that doesn't mean they didn't participate in some capacity. They were still sending support um, in some ways. And so it's like, even if you weren't one of the core members of the allies or whatever you were still contributing like uh and that's another thing like people often in america are like oh we did it we saved the world in world war ii whatever but then they completely ignore the fact that like canada also participated and did a fair bit like oh we stormed the beast the beaches of normandy and it's like yeah but so did canada you know for instance i don't know obviously huge participation uh, around the globe and it's just one of those things it's like everyone worked for it hello you startled me I did not know you were there until it was too late I thought I'd be able to mortar kill these mortar guys with my pistol with no problem but apparently not we're gonna definitely want a machine gun because we're coming up to a vehicle section which is horrible and we're probably going to die a lot and I'm going to be frustrated by it but we're going to we're going to do it anyway. And uh, I don't know, just the scope of World War II and and the fact that there were so many people invested in the outcome and so many people who thought that might be the end of you know, I mean it could have been the end of the world so to speak and you talk about the advent of, you know, nuclear weapons and the decision to drop on Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki. And it's like, it's just fascinating the way that things went to get to the point that they got to. And I don't know, I think people have a tendency to gloss over it like, oh, it was just something that we did and it's over now. And it's like it obviously had far-reaching 
complications for many countries for gen like years and years and years. Hello, is this the original or the remake? This is the original 2003 whatever game. I did. I don't know if they remade this one. Um, but yep. Is the uh, is Call of Duty World War II a remake of this, or is it a completely original game? So here's the issue with these vehicle sections. Number one, it is impossible to aim in a moving vehicle. We do have the option to lean out of the window, but I find that that barely helps at all. And uh, yeah, it's pretty impossible to hit what you're aiming at. And then you add to this that you have no means of defending yourself. There's no cover. Like there, we just had, like how am I supposed to aim when you're jerking me from side to side like that? And then we have no cover. So even if we're in the vehicle, even if we just stay in here and never do anything, we're going to die during this vehicle section just because we have no ability to stay away from being shot. Um, and I get why they did it. You know, they wanted a cinematic moment of you like, oh, we got to ram the Germans and oh, we got to do this. But like, I, I don't find these sections enjoyable. And so I suspect we will probably die pretty frequently, uh, unfortunately. I guess the best we can do is toggle in and out. Uh, of of the out of window thing so that we get a little bit of cover as we transition from one spot to the other cannot aim <laughs> hate these vehicle sections these are like staples in the call of duty games as well um, stop turning um, they're, they're staples in the call of duty franchise they do basically in every game some big cinematic vehicle moment and I get why you do it, it's cinematic, it's supposed to be action-y and telling a story, but like mechanically, they are awful. Uh, like I can, I, I just can't aim at anyone. So we just have to sort of hope for the best, hope that our AI teammates clear out any that we miss. And then, you know, again, they're just, they're completely scripted, so like I have no control over where we're going or, or anything like that. And if I remember right, we're about to run into a tank, and it's like, oh no, a tank, what are you going to do? Ah. Tank looks pretty cool, though. Go, go, go. Please don't explode me. And, uh, yeah, so that's one vehicle section. I think it's over. Do we get out here? What do we do? Just bank that that tank driver uh, doesn't actually shoot us. We are out. So let's get out. And we're going to just kind of... I was going to say stand still and hope for a checkpoint so that we don't die before and have to get reset back through the uh, vehicle section. Looks like they're not going to give me a checkpoint. Okay, lots of health kits though, so that's nice. Hmm, chair, I thought you were a German soldier. So we'll pop out here. I saw you. My window is not open. Okay, oh, you got me. Let's push out. Okay, there's one at that corner as well. I missed. I don't like the grand sights either. Reload. I was trying to reload. I couldn't reload because it's the grand as we discussed. Yeah, I think the car is probably my favorite rifle. I don't hate the Mazin. I actually have no idea how you say that. Is it Mazin or Mosin? I hear people say both and I have no idea which one is correct. Uh, but I like the sights on the Mosin if I remember right. It's been a while since I've... Uh, actually seen one of those in a video game. I don't play a lot of World War II games these days. There's just got to be people in that house. I don't believe for a second that this is empty. Ever steal, a car? ever steal a car? I have not ever stole a car. Ah! And we're dead. Because of course there was someone in the house like I said there was. And they didn't pop. And it reset me to the vehicle. Okay. So we're back in the vehicle because uh, this game hates me. 
it makes you think of the old days drive-bys. Uh, how the hell did they actually hit the target in the mob movies and stuff? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've never done a drive-by in real life, so I, I can't speak from experience. We're just gonna chill in the car. I don't actually care about this. I'm furious that it reset me to the vehicle section when we had already cleared this and had plenty of time for a checkpoint. That's the issue with checkpoint-based games. Uh, it seems like no matter what the game is, if it's a checkpoint-based game, I experience this at, at some you know point in the playthrough where I'm frustrated that it resets me way back somewhere. Like this is... See, and there it just gave me a checkpoint, so why didn't it do it the first time we came through here? I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> now we have to watch the uh, whole tank scripted thing again, so we're just gonna just hang out. Yeah, I don't know how people... I think a drive-by is actually different. So like in this particular game, if we get shot one more time, we're dead by the way. So this is really exciting. Because any random bullet could uh, could reset us here. I think in a traditional drive-by sense, you're driving on a straight road and all you really have to do is stick your gun out the window and pull the trigger. So it's, yeah, we're dead for something we had absolutely no control over. So that's a lot of fun. And it reset us back here. Hate vehicle sections. I don't believe that they should ever be in video games. I think that uh, when when video games put a vehicle section in, it's always for cinematic reasons. It's always because they're trying to create an exciting situation. And in my experience, and we're dead. Again, no control over us getting shot by those enemies. Um, because they do it for cinematic reasons. You know, if you think about like, I don't know, even Half-Life 2, for instance, has a pretty sizable vehicle section, uh, and people really love that game, so I think that's a, a fair example to use. It, uh, to me, is like they're just, they're trying to make something exciting that is not that exciting. You're essentially driving and being forced to solve puzzles. There's really not a lot of action. There's not a lot of purpose to it. I think it's just because you wanted to show off you know, you wanted some vehicle-based puzzles. You wanted to stretch the game out and have a vehicle section. And in a game like this, it's obvious you're trying to build, like, tension. You're trying to build, like, a narrative of, oh, we're trying to escape. We we stole a vehicle. Oh, we're trying to get through. But then to have such shitty checkpoints. Like, the second we get out of this car should trigger a, a checkpoint. There's no excuse for that in my opinion. So I'm a little annoyed that we had to do this multiple times, but let's uh, see how this goes. I don't think we can even kill that guy because he gets killed by the explosion. So we got objectives updated. Game saved. Excellent. Thank you. Should have done that the first time. So since we had the game saved, I feel a little more confident where I can just push through here. Give me the grand. We know there's going to be enemies. Let's dart for the corner. We might get clipped on our way there, unfortunately. I missed both shots. Excellent, excellent. Missed again. Fantastic. That guy is a, is a lucky dude. Can't believe he's still alive. Uh, yeah, so I think on a drive-by, you're just uh, driving straight down a road, and all you really have to do is put your gun out the window. Plus, I think that like drive-bys are t traditionally like really in general are super inaccurate where they uh you know you hear all the time about innocent people who get clipped and i don't know you you hear about like oh for f as soon as i come around the corner get out of here and then we know there's a guy in the window who doesn't show up until we advance our AI should be pushing up, but it wants us to do it, I guess. I can't tell. He he is in there, so we are able to shoot him, even though we can't. Uh, he's not shooting or anything. So let's push up. Get in here as quickly as we can. Can't go... Th stupid bush. Uh, can't go in there. So let's clear the area, make sure everything's okay. There's some health up here. 
I believe, if I remember right, there's a machine gun down there that we're supposed to mount and use to repel the Germans. But honestly, using the uh, using the machine gun is terrible because it's a static point. And if we stay in the machine gun, we're just a static target that can't take cover. So I don't think that that's in our best interest at all. Isn't now the holding the church section? Actually, no, we did that about 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago, right before the vehicle section. We did the, the whole holding the church thing. And I don't think we even held the church. I think we actually, I don't know if our, our men stayed behind to hold it, but we actually just fled. Okay, let's go check on them and see if they're ready to uh, to escape. Hello. Because the enemies down the road stopped spawning. Am I supposed to get in now? Get in the car. So not only did we have one terrible vehicle section, but now we have another vehicle section. So, screw me, I guess. And in this one, we can't even uh, move at all. So we can't even swap in and out of the window to take some amount of cover. I hear the tank. I don't see the tank. Like, how am I supposed to shoot any of these people? We're just going to chill. Hopefully this is not a super long vehicle section. Oh, what are you going to do? There's a couple of these spread out throughout the game. The only one I remember ever liking was in Modern Warfare 1. You got to drive a snowmobile and stuff. And that was, like, really cool at the time. I don't actually think it was very cool. I just think we thought it was cool at the time. So, Looks like we've cleared the German line. So we're going to meet up with the Allies and hopefully get back on foot. Uh, so that we can actually do something, you know, that is enjoyable. I gotta go report, in to Major go report to Major Shepard. Sure. Can't shoot your teammates, unfortunately. Whoops. Sorry, bud. That guy will live the rest of his life with a 45 in his skull because of me.